We made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed. So Jesus said to them, As the Father has sent me, I also send you. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. People who are DIDSRA are coming into integration. They have been stretched and they have been constructed by the satanic forces of darkness to such a degree that when they finally integrate, they have such a capacity to be filled with God, they will be out there in front leading the ranks in exonostasis. And these survivors that are coming out of darkness and the light, and those churches that are embracing these people, this history, and are not saying, that's too messy for me, and I can't get involved in all that, that's too overwhelming. But those who do come alongside in whatever way God calls you, and as the morning star arises in their heart, what a shining. What an exonostasis. These are the people that God is privileged to bear testimony in the church and to the principalities and powers, making known his power. That's why I work with survivors. I want to see these saints coming into the place where they are out in the front, making known his power and coming. You saw that's doing it for them. No, I want to see what Jesus looks like when he finally gets his place. I have an ulterior motive. What do you think that's going to mean to them? Well, why don't you think about me? When he gets his place in you, you finally are free to be who you are.